Let's look at the most visited websites in 2022 by traffic. Number one, Google. Google is a US-based search engine. It was the most visited website attracting nearly 92 billion visits monthly, 3.1 billion visits daily. It is a US-based company which was launched in 1998 by Google. Google Search is a search engine provided by Google. Handling more than 3.5 billion searches per day, it has a 92% share of the global search engine market. It's also the most visited website in the world. The order of search results returned by Google is based in part on a priority rank system called PageRank. Google, the search engine giant, generated an annual revenue of $257.63 billion in the fiscal year 2021, an yearly uh, increase of about 41% compared to the annual revenue of $182.53 billion in 2020. Google earned nearly 81% of its total revenue in 2021 from advertisements. I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, most of the Google advertisements in some of its platforms like YouTube, YouTube ads. Well, number two, YouTube. It is a US-based streaming and online TV. All of you are aware of YouTube, of course. You're watching this from YouTube. It was launched in February 14, 2005 by three buddies, Steve Chen, Chad Halley, George Karim, and right now it's owned by Google, the second most visited website after Google search. Its CEO is Susan Wojcicki. Oh, she has quite a complicated name, that lady. Whew. YouTube main source of revenue is advertising. Additionally, we earn money from our monthly subscription businesses from YouTube Premium, of course, for the guys that are monetized. YouTube has reported more than 30% revenue growth in the past four years. It generated $28.8 billion in 2021, which was a 46% increase in 2020 figures. So making money from YouTube initially used to be a bit easy. Nowadays, there are thresholds you have to meet. You have to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers for you to apply for the YouTube partnership program. Mostly what you need to do is upload great content, have some originality, uh, then get views and earn a share of the advertisement revenue. Number three, Facebook. This is a U.S. social media network. Um, most people think of Facebook and what comes to your mind is Mark Zuckerberg. Well, he is the, the genius behind so, social network Facebook. But currently, it's owned by Meta Platforms um, as a trading business name. It's an American multinational technology conglomerate based in Menlo Park, California. The company owns Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and others. The CEO is Mark Zuckerberg. It was founded in 2004. Mm, most of you know the story of Mark Zuckerberg and Harvard College and the roommates and getting uh, to have to drop out of school. So it's a common story you people know. Or what you may not be aware of is that the roommates were Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Marcos, Liz, and Chris Hugh. Its name comes from the Facebook directories often given to American university students. Initially, the membership was limited to Harvard students, but it gradually expanded to other North American universities. And since 2006, anyone who is over 13 years old could open an account on Facebook. So currently, um, the latest data shows that Facebook has over 2.93 billion monthly active users, and it is ranked third in the worldwide most visited website by traffic. Number four, Twitter. Like Facebook, it's a social media network. Again, it is US-based. The company operates the microblogging and social network service Twitter. 
previously operated by a Vine Short Video app and Periscope live streaming service. But it was acquired uh, by Elon Musk. Its headquarters are in San Francisco, California, and the founders are Jack Dorsey, Ivan Williams, Noah Glass, and Biz Tone. Nearly 90% of Twitter's revenue last year came from advertising, and it traditionally has been the company's main source of income. In 2021, Twitter took home about $4.51 billion from advertisers and about $572 million from licensing data and other services. Number five, Instagram. Like the other two predecessors, this is a social media network. Mainly, it's a photo and video sharing networking service owned by an American company, Meta Platforms, the same company that owns Facebook. The app allows users to upload media that can be edited with filters and organized by hashtags and geographical tagging. Posts can be shared publicly with pre-approved followers. So you can create, share, watch shorts, entertaining videos on Instagram, reels, watch stories, check out stories of others, do live videos from with your favorite people. Well, when I think of Instagram, I tend to think of people posting photos. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm delusional from all this social media stuff. Um, in the same ideology, I to think of Twitter before as an app where people go and dance, twerk, but anyway, I've gotten to think that it's more of, um, it's more than most people uh, tend to show. For instance, um, TikTok has a lot to offer other than people dancing. So does Instagram. Well, number six, Baidu. Most of you may not have heard Baidu, who <laughs> could be hearing about Baidu for the first time. Well, you're not alone. It was the first time I heard about Baidu too. Now Baidu is a Chinese multinational technology company specializing in internet-related service and products and artificial intelligence. So you can think of Baidu as an alternative to Google search. It has headquarters in Beijing, Haidian district, one of the largest artificial intelligence and internet companies in the world. Well, in the United States, Google is still the undisputed search king with over 91% of the overall market share. Well, but in China, it's all about Baidu. However, while the American, uh, the average American may not have heard of Baidu, it is the second largest search engine in the world. Mainly, of course, it's based in China and you know about the Chinese uh, mist serious and super powerful firewall they call it the great firewall by the way its founders were Robin Lee Eric Zhu and uh, in 2020 and 2021 actually 2021 it had a rocking net profit of 124.5 billion of Chinese things. It was founded in 2000. And uh, we can talk of uh, Chinese being some genius folks behind inventing alternatives to the mainstream Western social media applications. Like for instance, you, you know of WhatsApp. Most people in China, they don't even use WhatsApp. It's blocked by the Chinese firewall. So people have WeChat. Uh, when you talk of TikTok, used to be in China. Actually, it was not in China. China used to have a Chinese version of TikTok called Douyin, even though the proprietors and the might behind TikTok were Chinese. But with time, when the company went global and all that, they decided to offer their services to a global market. It was allowed. So, you can be sure. If you come up with a Facebook there is an alternative of Facebook in China if that application is blocked by their firewall. Number seven, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a dictionaries and encyclopedia. 
It has a multilingual free online encyclopedia written and maintained by a community of volunteers known as Wikipedians. Through open collaboration and using a wiki-based editing system, it's the largest and the most read reference work in history and was launched in 201. It is also available in mind-boggling 329 languages. So who are these guys behind such an amazing free dictionary? Well, it was created by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanga, supported by Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, when you hear of foundation, what comes to your mind? Ah, your main source of revenue is donations and contributions. Charity giving, we can call it. The foundation has grown rapidly throughout its existence. By 2022, it employed around 700 staff and contractors. With a net asset of around 240 US million dollars and a growing domain which surpassed 100 million in June 2021. Number eight, Yadex. Yadex is a search engine, a Russian one. Well, Russia is not left behind. It was founded by Elena Komanovskaya, Arkady Volos, Ilya Segalovich and it's headquartered in Moscow, Russia. It was formed in 2000 and has subsidiaries such as Yadex Taxi, Yadex Eda, Yadex Ukraine, and others. Executive directors are Alexei Yakovitsky, Alexander Moldovan. It's a Russian multinational technology company providing internet-related products and services, including an internet search engine information services, e-commerce, transportation, maps, navigation, mobile applications, and online advertising. It primarily serves audience in Russia and the Commonwealth of the dependent states of the former Soviet Union, it has more than 30 offices worldwide. Well, the firm is the largest technology company in Russia and the second largest search engine on the internet in Russia, with a market share of around 42%. It also has the largest share of any search engine from Europe and the Commonwealth independent states, and is the fifth largest search engine worldwide after Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Baidu. Its main competitors on the Russian markets are Google, VK, and Rambler. Number nine, Yahoo. Yahoo is a news and media publishers type of a company. The original incarnation of Yahoo Inc. was an American multinational technology company headquartered in Sunnyvale, California. Founded by Jerry Young and David Philo in January 1994, it was incorporated on March 2, 1995. Yahoo was one of the pioneers in the early internet era in the 1990s. It reported around $220.3 billion US dollars in 2021. Number 10. WhatsApp. All of you have heard about WhatsApp, and you've not heard about WhatsApp, then you're quite a young viewer. Welcome to the platform. WhatsApp is a US based social media network, internationally available freeware, cross platform, centralized instant messaging, and voice over IP service owned by Meta Platforms, the same company that owns Instagram and Facebook. It allows users to send text, voice messages, make voice and video calls, and share images, documents, user location, and other content. It was launched in 2009, and the authors were Brian Acton and John Coombe. So platform, Meta, Meta Platforms acquired uh, WhatsApp, Facebook bid, Meta Platforms acquired WhatsApp. So the head of WhatsApp and Meta Platforms is Will Cathcart. Will Cathcart. So Meta Platforms, then Facebook, bid for WhatsApp patches was astronomical, even for the Silicon Valley. Facebook put a bid of 19.9 billion to acquire WhatsApp. By that time, it has um, it, it had a less subscriptions. 
to currently it has over 2 billion users globally whatsapp started as a freemium service where you could send messages and use all other services but then after a year you would pay a 0.99 percent of dollars fee but since then especially after it was acquired by meta platforms this has shifted uh, from from a freemium with an, an annual subscription fee to a fully pre- freemium to a fully freemium service so instead the company makes money through whatsapp for business and whatsapp pay its revenue for whatsapp was 8.7 billion in the year 2021 number 11 x videos x videos is an adult site styled as x videos in uh, caps it is a pornographic video sharing and viewing website founded in paris 207 founded in paris in 2007 the website is now registered to the czech company wgcs holdings as of november 2022 the most visited pornographic website and the 11 most visited website in the world now the company that owns uh, this website wgcs holdings also owns bank bros ddf network penthouse magazines private media group and eo games and has a controlling interest in the production gathered under the legal pun of brad it has headquarters and offices in prague number 12 amazon amazon is a u.s marketplace it's an american-based company focusing on e-commerce cloud computing online advertising digital streaming and artificial intelligence the ceo is jeff benzos he also happens to be the founder he founded the company in 1994 in Bellevue, washington united states was 469 billion US dollars in 2022 in its revenue was 469.8 billion US dollars in 2021 it's one of the big five american information technology companies alongside alphabet apple meta platforms and microsoft its other subsidiaries include ring twitch imdb and whole foods market its acquisition of whole foods in august 2017 for US dollars 13.4 billion substantially increased its footprint in the United States especially as a physical retailer it is the second largest private employer in the United States Amazon also distributes a variety of downloadable and streaming content through its Amazon Prime Video Amazon Music Twitch and Audible units also publishes books through its publishing arm amazon publishing film and television content through amazon studios and has been the owner of film and television studio metro godwin meyer since march 2022 it also produces consumer electronics most notably kido e-readers echo devices fire tablets and fire tvs number 13 porn hub well most of you naughty ones are familiar with the site well pornhub is a an adult website let's call it so or we can call it by its layman's name a pornographic video streaming website owned by magic as of 2022 pornhub is the 13th most trafficked website in the world and the second most traffic adult website after X videos. It was launched in Montreal, Canada in 2007 and has offices and servers in Lima, so Cyprus. In 2010, the company was bought by Magic, known then as Manwin, which owns other pornographic websites. It's available internationally but has been blocked by some individual countries such as mainland China, Philistines, Pakistan and Sri-, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka it offers virtual reality pornography among its other products. And uh, is a site winner for so many awards in the adult content industry. Number 14. XNXX, another 
adult content website. Now XNXS is a French website for sharing and viewing pornographic videos. As of 2022, it was classified as the 14th most visited website in the world. Launched in 1997 and is currently hosted in Paris with servers and offices in Montreal, Tokyo, and Newark. It was launched in 1997 and currently is owned by WCGS Holding, the same company that owns the other uh, adult content site that we ranked number, was it 11? The X videos. Number 15, live. It is a US-based email service. Well, we cannot call it a company per se. It's a URL used by Microsoft for the Outlook.com and OneDrive product. That is why it is on the list. Microsoft runs second in the U we had for today. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and uh, hit that notification.